India is a giant and diverse country that might conjure up images of mysticism and fabled secrets. Yet one of its most obscure and interesting mysteries takes place on a small strip of land located in the Jatinga region, or rather, above it. Nestled in between Myanmar, Nepal, Bangladesh and Bhutan lies the rural village of Jatinga, with its roughly 2,500 inhabitants, lush wildlife and idyllic scenery, it seems like a veritable paradise on earth. However, each year at around the end of the monsoon season, in September and October, the village is plagued by a strange natural phenomenon of biblical proportions. On moonless, dark and foggy nights between the hours of 6 and 9 pm, giant flocks of birds will descend upon the village and surroundings and start exhibiting very strange behavior. These birds, containing a veritable cornucopia of species, amongst which green pigeons, bitterns, egrets, herons, Indian pitas and the emerald duff, show up from the surrounding areas and start displaying strange flight patterns and signs of clear distress. After some time the birds seem to intuitively dive bomb or according to some accounts simply fall out of the sky towards the lights of the village beneath. If not immediately killed by impact, some of the local Kase Pnar tribal members, who believe the birds to be evil messengers or spirits of some kind, attack them and finish the job so to speak. These puzzling events have hence been dubbed the Jatinga Mass Bird Suicides. But can it truly be described as suicide though? A naturalist named EPG first published studies on this occurrence in the 60s. He and the renowned ornithologist from the region named Salim Ali drove to the village of Jatinga and came up with a plausible theory. They posited that the cause of the supposed bird suicides were to be blamed on disorientation at high altitudes and high-speed winds in the area that was characteristic of the thick fog during this period of the year. This theory is somewhat given credence by another naturalist called Sudhir Zengupta, who was sent to investigate further by the Indian government. He noticed that the flocks of birds consisted of mostly juveniles and that a large portion of them were not from the direct area. This led him to conclude that they must have been disturbed from their roosts or nests by the high velocity winds. Shook up and disorientated by these winds, the birds try to make their way towards any light source and end up diving straight towards the village and its angry citizens. This would also explain why the birds only seem to exhibit this behavior during moonless nights, as their usual source of light, the moon, that they may rely on for navigation during foggy nights, is nowhere to be found. Some reports seem to indicate that the locals even set up lights on the hillside in order to attract the birds, after which they hit them in mid-air with bamboo poles in order to eventually kill them. A group of conservationists have recently taken up the daunting task of educating the local villagers about the birds and have had decent success in doing so. Although not as thoroughly investigated, some abnormal magnetic anomalies have been measured in the Jatinga region. The magnetic fields in the region, possibly altered by the heavy fog and rainfall from the monsoon season, could have an impact on the birds' sense of orientation and even their central nervous system, leading them to plunge to their untimely deaths. Depressed birds, evil spirits, magnetic abnormalities, strong winds, fog or vindictive villagers. Whatever may be the cause of the Jatinga mass bird suicides, this grim case might forever remain simply a mystery. Thank you for watching this episode of Simply Mystery. Please remember to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to our channel. It would honestly help us a lot.